Hi, my name is Shen, and welcome to my walkthrough, no, not walkthrough, but build up, I don't know, to my guide, yes, that is what it was, to Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft. This time around we are looking at the Hero deck, which starts out with Dagger Mastery, costs two points and you can equip a uh, one, two dagger, that means you have one attack and you can attack two times. So now... Let's take a good look at the cards. There's a lot of cards which uh, require you to combo, like this one, combo, deal 2 damage instead, or this one, deal 4 damage instead, or this one, summon a Defias Bandit, and all the kind of stuff. So, um, I am not, uh, well, I'm okay as row, but it's not my preferred type, okay? But, um, I take the backstab card two times in, then shadow step. Once is okay, you don't need it twice unless you have a really strong battle cry card. Um, cold blood is very powerful. It boosts something like the Fire's Bandit up all of a sudden and you uh, have a surge of damage. Uh, this can protect your minion, so we're taking one of that in. And deadly poison is always nice, because we don't use weapons. Weapons are very powerful and we're not going to let that waste. Um, but you always have to keep it... <coughs> Sorry. You always have to keep in mind that um, the enemy may have that um, ooze minion which destroys your weapon, so be careful. Um, Sinister Strike is nice, very nice in fact, to have as a um, combo starter, meaning you play this one and then you play a combo card to have the benefit. And Betrayal is one hell of an awesome card because even in the um, worst situations you can make the best of it. So we're taking that two times in as well. Keep in mind we will put out cards that we do, do not need. Um, Blade Flurry is very good when you are facing a lot of opponents or a big strong opponent and need to um, preserve your life because it destroys a weapon and deals AoE damage. <clears throat> that means um, you do not directly attack, your hero is not affected by that, which means you do not take damage. So if you have it, take it in. We're taking it once in. I do not expect you to have it, so uh, yeah, well, maybe I should put it out. Um, Eviscerate, very powerful, yes we're taking it in, Sap, yes please, as you can see we're already using a hell of a lot of spells, 16 cards, just spells, the hell. Um, this, I don't think this card is worth it, but taking it once in is justified. The Defiance Ringleader is a very powerful card, which lets you summon a Defiance Banner with just 1 HP, which is okay. So we're taking it in. Uh, let's see. Um, Assassin's Blade is an item, item <laughs> card that we that you will get um, after a while. I don't quite remember when or where, but you get it. So we're taking it in. Uh, not two times. One time is enough. So be careful. Do not spill it. Fan of Knives, very powerful. You certainly cannot boost that with spell damage or something like that. At least I believe you, you cannot. I haven't tried it yet. So, taking it once in. Assassinate. Yes, you need that. It's a destruction card, which you need. Uh, sprint. I discourage the use of Sprint because you draw four cards for seven. Seven. Let that slide on your tongue. Seven crystals. It's likely that you won't play anything after that. Um, vanish. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you need to delay the inevitable for a moment, then yes. So now, you need combo cards. Um, what I like most with um the row deck are battle cry cards. So. And cards which are affected by you having a weapon. So the first thing we'll be taking a look at is the Blood Cell Raider. Gain attack equal to the attack of your weapon. 
So if you have an assassin blade out, she will gain 3 attack, ma making this 2 crystal card a 5 attack, 3 HP card. No way taking it in. And even if you do not have a weapon out right now, which is unlikely because of your passive, uh, because of hero power, then you can still play this card and she's still strong. So yes, taking it in. Two times in fact. Do not underestimate <coughs> sorry. <laughs> Do not underestimate the power of other people's weapons. So taking a swamp ooze in and an iron big old to silence the F out of the other. Um the fairy dragon is very wonderful, but we do not have uh what we need yet. What we need is a Pandaren Brewmaster. Why? He returns a friendly minion from the battlefield to your hand. So you want him in. He's got a lot of attack. A nice amount of HP, so why the hell not? I'm taking the, the golden one because it look, looks nice. You will have this one, likely. Um, as you can see now, we're almost full. And if you take a look at that, way too many two cards. So we will get rid of some of them. Uh, let's take a look. You need to draw cards, so you take something like the Acolyte of Pain. In. Because he... Every time he is damaged, he will let you draw a card, <clears throat> which is very, very nice. Um, let's take a look. Yes, I just scratch, scratch myself because well, what the hell not? Um, let's see, raid leader. You won't have too many strong cards, so we're taking that in. And for the raid leader, we are putting a no, not eviscerate, not betrayal. Uh, no, no, no. I want to put a two card out. Um, let's see. Let's put a sap away. Put the right, right leader in. And we've actually exchanged two for two. I'm gonna have one. Yeah, I want some combo cards that I can play out. Because you um, need to have some combos to. Well, why the hell not a, sh a sh shield bearer? Would be nice, right? Um, let's see. Um, I want to keep Shiv. So we're going to put a... Nah. 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 A one betrayal can go. So keep in mind you only have one of those. You always need a tank car to uh, shield your minions. So... You don't have to worry too much about your summons or the combo. Um, you do not always have a weapon out, but uh, I will I will keep the blood cell radar in any way because she's so strong. So we're putting, oh, let's see. Hmm. I mean, it's not bad that you have uh, some. Well, some two cards, but you shouldn't have too many of them. It delays your first <coughs> turn a lot, so we're taking something like Oh uh, no, here's a dependency. Let's see. I like where is it? Can I have it? Oh not you, not you. Actually yes you. The Elven Archer deal one damage. Kills most of the beginning cards unless you're playing against a warlock which summons a white walker likely. And even then, the Void Walker takes one damage, which is nice. Unless you have the first turn and you play something at first. But then I would suggest playing that Defy's Ring Leader at first, because you can just play the coin, you flip it, and then you have two crystals. You have the combo ready, because you played the coin. And then you can just spawn two minions at the same time. And afterwards, you could just play the Just for Brewmaster to, to return the Ring Leader himself back. And uh, play the ringleader again next turn if you can't combo again. So that's very nice. Um, oh, we're taking a look at Fauna. Yeah, we really need four cards. <laughs> um, Assassinate is very nice, so we're keeping it in. Well, one of his red can go. So, um, we. Do not have a lot of cards yet. Yeah, let's get rid of conceal because yeah, we really don't need it. We need something 
It doesn't. No. I'm gonna keep backstabbing because it's so powerful. And Shadow Step is nice to return something like the Fire's Ringleader and play him again. Um, let's see. <sighs> I like the Mogushan Warden, but um, maybe you should just go classic and take a Senjin Shield Master. Master! <laughs> yeah, let's take one of those. Um, you will not have a lot of cards in your hand, so Twilight Dragon is not always nice. Let's actually search for a card that can draw us nice cards. There we go. No measurementer. And actually, there's a counterpart. Novice Engineer, which is nice as well. Only one damage for two HP is always nice. We're going to put a. Ah. <laughs> no, I don't want to put the ringleader away or the brewmaster or the owl. We need the silence effect. Yeah, let's put one deadly coil away. Okay. We still do not have finishing cards. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's okay. Um. So finishing cards. We have assassinate two times. We have vanish. But um. Ah. <sighs> It's always so difficult to decide if you want to assassinate something or have something on your field that is worth having on your field. Um, well, let's put one assassinate away and let's take in, um, no, the one's too weak. Um, you won't have this one, so, ah, <sighs> dang. I could say Ball of his Ogre because she, because he's strong, he's BP strong. Yes, come on, let's take them in. Now let's take a look. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm counting the minions. Six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, half of your deck consists of minions and the other half consists of spells. That is a good ratio, to be honest. I know, it looks a little goofy, but that is how Row plays, that's why I do not like Row so much. Um, we're gonna call it... Hmm... Bloodfang. Okay, that is my Row deck, hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave a like and maybe subscribe, uh, leave comments in the section below, um, say, tell me if you have had success with uh, the deck or not, and yeah, see you next time, bye bye!